to the Hewlett Card and hit the floor. It takes heart to bet again, but Alan's got plenty of it. And that five's going to uh, give him a little bit more of confidence as well. Eleven thousand. I think that'll probably be the end of Phil. Got him. Phil Ivy. Pretty much, he called one time, floated one off. They call it to see what Alan would do on the turn. But when he fired again, Phil Ivy had to throw it away. And Alan Cunningham, what a turnaround for him. Look at that. At his low point, he was probably down about 50,000. Now he's up 14,000. He's kept his composure the entire way. Action is on the professor. I don't think he's going to like that. Yeah, you don't need a PhD to throw that one away. Just the blinds. And it's a race from Brian Townsend. Now, this could be interesting. You've got Brian Townsend and Tony G, two very aggressive players. They've already they've already locked horns a couple of times. Not this time. This time it works. Put your hand up and let you have it. So they didn't even have to race. I won that puff. That's it. I want to put these there. Sure. Yeah, it's me. Just want to sit there. I don't know. Okay, I appreciate it. I won't forget that. I'm starting to get on my nerves now. <laughs> Joke. Okay, the position you want to raise me like this? Uh, will you embarrass me on TV or what? Is that what you want to do? Let me see. Thank you, embarrass yourself, too. No, you want to embarrass me. He does a pretty good job of it on his own, I think. <laughs> Oh, it's people like this that not uh, today. That set me off. <laughs> not today. Do you think he belongs here? You said I don't belong here, Teddy. You think you belong here? Do you want to play me heads up? <laughs> I said, do you belong here? Let them play heads up. We'll watch and make that. Play whatever you think you want. Heads up, Tony. Who do you want to play? I plan on dealing with Tony G by just letting him talk, and then if he kind of gets out of line, I'll, uh, you know, challenge him to a heads-up match or something, and that'll kind of put him in his place, because I know he, he respects my game a lot, and uh, I don't think he would want to play me heads-up. The Full Tilt Poker.net Million Dollar Cash Game, in association with 50 London. Wrong, Mr. is in front of the Professor Howard Lederer. And action is on Chris Ferguson. Seven four clubs. He's not going to play that. Phil Ivy is going to play the nine eight of stage. He's going to raise up two thousand. Cold. Ivy is a player. He just has not gotten out of his own way today. I really think he's been a, a victim of seat assignment here. With Patrick Antonius on his immediate left, Brian Townsend on his left, and then Tony G. These are all the guys that really want to gamble. Now, Letterer's got ace-jack on the button. He's got a raise and two callers. Can you try to squeeze play here, get some dead money in there, and try to steal the whole pot with a big, big raise? Well, a decent-sized raise here. The only hand he really thinks he has to get through is Phil Ivey. So if he makes it like 10, 12,000 or something... You're not going to help us on any TV, Howard, behavior like this. Yeah, you want to understand what he says? That's some kind of bunny talk. 13,000. <laughs> Whether it works or not, who knows? He makes it 13,000 to go. Oh, he's got rid of the blinds, and you imagine it's going to work. Ivy's gone. That leaves Patrick Antonius. With the only other semi genuine hand out there. Tony G's not likely to call with his uh, Queen 8. I'll call the 11. Maybe we'll fight back if I lose the play. Is that right? No. So, Trying to do a bit of negotiating, Mr. G. Exactly. Didn't work. I would let her just fold your hand. Good for and I'll take $7,500 risk free. <laughs> yeah, I finally got the biggest hand I've had all day. It's a strong play from Howard Letter. And you kill the, you kill the action. I mean, make it reasonable like seven, and you get the bunny. One hundred and ten dollars Maybe one hundred and ten dollars Just like that, you win $7,000. 
Ace King? I hope like Ace King. You already had Ace King. What's that side of the game? You had Ace King suited. I had Ace already. I didn't have Ace King suited. You had Ace in the game for me. You had Ace King suited, and you said you had Ace King suited, and you pulled it. When was that? Yeah, you had When there was a raise and a raise and then an all in. I had Ace Queen suited that. Oh, Ace Queen. I thought you said Ace King. I mean, you laying down Ace Queen when I raised Ace King. I heard Ace King. I heard Ace King. Yeah, that's felt like that's I can't. Yeah, I was joking when I said I made some gigantic play down. I wouldn't have Ace King suited. You know, <laughs> I would have just pushed all in with that. There you oh, go. Yeah. That's what I hate to say. Tony G with the Queen Four suited. He's going to play this. I have been playing poker in a while. Do you know what's going to play this as well? <laughs> and he's going to limp in here. I thought I might see another raise there. No squeeze play. There's Brian Townsend with his uh, pocket five. He's already in the pot. Not for Brett Cunningham's going to play this as well now. So basically, everyone's in this pot apart from Patrick Antonius. Yes. And he blocked made up the, the, the small to big blind with seven two up. <laughs> wow. They did not invite the Finnish superstar to the party. Seven ways to the flop. Jack seven. Flops queen, Jack seven. Couple of hearts out there. Tony G has flopped the flush draw. This is a big flop for Tony G. He's not actually in front right now. Now, Alan Cunningham is. Alan's got the jack. 